If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Scott. I am a practicing physician assistant working in endocrinology. I'm also a type 1 diabetic. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you're interested in diabetes-related news, tech reviews, product reviews, and things like that, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with new content all of the time. So 2022 is going to be a big year for diabetes tech. And one of the biggest releases that we're going to have this year is the Omnipod 5. And the Omnipod 5 should be coming out hopefully within the next few months. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the product, some of the new features that it's going to have, and just go over the Omnipod 5 for people that are going to be interested in getting started on it. So the big change with the Omnipod 5 is that it's going to finally have a hybrid closed loop system. So it's going to be an automated insulin delivery system similar to the Tandem and the Medtronic pump. It's exciting because this is going to be the first hybrid closed loop tubeless pump system that's going to be on the market. For those of you who don't like the wires, who don't like having you know the pump attached to you, the Omnipod is finally going to have the same features that the Medtronic and the Tandem have in a wireless system. So let's talk about the Omnipod 5, let's go over the features, let's talk about some of the new things that it's going to have. So the first thing, the CGM that it's going to use, like the Tandem, the T-Slim, is that it's going to use the Dexcom G6. So you will need a Dexcom G6 to use the automated insulin delivery system. And from what I understand, you can't use the Dexcom reader, you actually have to use the app for it to be able to interact with the Omnipod 5. So that's the CGM you'll need to use for it. Let's talk about the big thing here, and that's the automated system, the hybrid closed loop system. Let's talk about the software the Omnipod 5 is gonna have. This is gonna have some new exciting features on it. So the actual system, the automated insulin delivery system is called Smart Adjust. And it's an algorithm built into the Omnipod that's automatically going to adjust your insulin level depending on your blood sugar readings from the Dexcom. So auto mode not only adjusts your basal rate to give you more or less depending on what your current blood sugar is, but it also predicts up to 60 minutes into the future and predicts what your blood what your blood sugar is going to be in 60 minutes and makes adjustments based upon that to kind of avoid some high and low blood sugars that you may have sometime in the future by making adjustments prior to those episodes actually happening. Now, as far as the target you can set for your blood sugar levels where you want it to be set to, you can set anywhere from 110 to 150. So you have some flexibility in that window. You can make adjustments in 10 unit increments. So say you want your blood sugar to be at a flat 120, you could set it at that. Maybe you want to be a little bit higher, 150, 110, anywhere between 110 to 150, you can set it in 10 unit increments. Now, what's nice about this is you can actually change up to eight different times during the day. There's eight different profiles you can set for that auto adjust within that 110 to 150 window. So let's say overnight you're kind of afraid you might go low. You can set that threshold, maybe say from like midnight to 5 a.m., a little bit higher. Maybe you want to shoot for 140, 150 rather than the low end and risk a low blood sugar. And then let's say sometime in the afternoon you want a little bit tighter control. You want it about a 110. You can set a time frame maybe from like 12 to 5 p.m. and have a tighter blood sugar control and set your blood sugar level at 110. So you have that flexibility up to eight times, eight different profiles throughout the day. You can set that window to whatever you would like it to be. So that's really great to have that flexibility. Now, what's great about this algorithm is that it doesn't make its adjustments based solely on your current blood sugar or your blood sugar predicted in 60 minutes. It also has artificial intelligence built in that actually learns with each pod that you put on. So you put on your first pod, it starts to learn some of your blood sugar, some of your habits throughout the day where your blood sugars are spiking commonly, or maybe you're having some lower blood sugars throughout the day, and it actually learns and adjusts with your lifestyle to try to make better decisions for your basal rates. So the pump actually gets smarter the longer you wear it as time goes on. And as your lifestyle changes, maybe as your blood sugars are changing, your activity level, the, the amount you're eating, the pump will adjust with you. So it's constantly adapting and making new decisions and new changes in your basal rate to get you more control. Now let's talk about the smart bolus calculator that it has. Now like all other pumps, it makes your bolus suggestion based upon the, the carbs you're about to eat. You put in how many carbs you're gonna eat. It takes a look and sees how much insulin you already have on board. And finally, it looks at your current blood sugar from the Dexcom G6. Now that's nothing new. But what's new about the Omnipod with the Smart Bolus Calculator is that it looks at your current trend to predict what your bolus should be. So let's say you're about to sit down and have a meal. You put in your carbs, you put in your, your current blood sugar, and it automatically gets it from your Dexcom. And let's say maybe it suggests you have five units. But it doesn't stop there. It actually looks at your trend. It sees, are you maybe going to be higher in an hour from now? Are you going to maybe be lower? And then it makes adjustments based on your bolus based upon that. That's something new and that's really great. And I think that's going to help a lot of post-meal hypoglycemia events as well as post-meal 
elevations in your blood sugar by looking at what your trend is going to be and suggesting a certain bolus based upon that. And the last smart feature, I guess you could call it, that I wanted to talk about is the activity or the exercise mode. Now, these are not new features. These are things that you can see on the Tandem and some of the other pumps. But Omnipod came up with its own version, and it's called HypoProtect. So it protects you against a low blood sugar. The way this works is if you anticipate that you may be more active, you may have a higher chance of a low blood sugar sometime in the future. Normally, this is when we're exercising. You turn on HypoProtect, go into the HypoProtect mode on the app on your phone. You can turn this on for any set amount of time. As soon as you turn HypoProtect mode on, it automatically reduces your basal rate. They didn't say a specific amount. I don't know if it's a 25% reduction. They didn't say specifically, but they said the basal rate is automatically reduced. In addition, it automatically changes your blood sugar threshold level to 150. Again, that's the high end of the threshold we talked about before, that 110 to 150. It automatically sets it to the higher end and then also reduces your basal rate to prevent uh, hypoglycemia. I know myself, I'd be using that feature pretty frequently every time I exercise, and that's definitely a nice feature to have. All right, let's talk about probably, to me, one of the more exciting features about this pump. So one of the problems that I have among many with diabetes is the uh, the amount of supplies I have to bring around with me. You have your CGM. If you're on multiple daily injections, you have to bring your insulin with you. You have to bring your pump with you. It's a problem to always have to bring these things around. So what the Omnipod is introducing is a pump that works independent of a pump controller. So you don't have an extra device to bring with you. You can actually do all of your corrections, all of your boluses, everything right from your smartphone. So the app that's built into your smartphone can actually control everything so you don't have to bring around with you a separate controller. So when this first comes out, they said that it's going to be running with an Android app. So if you have an Android phone, you're all set. The iOS isn't planned to come out at launch, I believe, but it will be at some time in the future. So if you have an Android phone, you're good. iPhone, you might have to use the controller for a little while longer. They also said if you don't have a compatible smartphone, they are providing a pump controller at no extra charge, which will be bundled into your first prescription. So you do have that option if you wanted a separate controller, but I'm sure most people are just going to want to do everything from their phone. You walk out the door, you grab your phone, you literally have everything in one. Your Dexcom's reading from your phone. Now your pump is finally going to read from your phone with the Omnipod. You don't have to bring anything extra with you, which is amazing to say for a diabetic to walk out the door and have nothing but their smartphone with them. So that is really huge. The other thing that I wanted to talk about in the theme of having less clutter is that the pod actually has the algorithm built into it. Meaning if you walk out the door without your smartphone, you forgot your controller, the automatic basal adjustment rate is going to continue to work. And that's also another great feature. You don't have to worry about your phone controlling the basal rate. It's automatically done through the pod. The algorithm is built into the pod. So if you forget something, you walk out the door, it's gonna continue to control your blood sugar. So that's great if you ever forget your smartphone or if you just want to go out and exercise and not have to worry about bringing anything extra with you. Now, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the studies that were done with the Omnipod. Now, there was some pretty extensive studies with patients wearing the Omnipod 5 and seeing how their time and range improved, how their hypoglycemic event improved, and how their A1C improved. So the studies that they did last year showed some pretty impressive results. So the patients that had the Omnipod 5 on showed a 34% reduction in hypoglycemic events, which is really important. A1C showed an improvement from 7.2% down to 6.8, which is also really encouraging to see. And finally, time and range improved from 63% up to 73%. And this is all just with using the Omnipod 5 rather than their normal regimen. All of these improvements in their glycemic control was from using the Omnipod 5 and the new algorithm that's built into it. So the studies looked really encouraging. The only thing that we have to wait for at this point is for the FDA to approve it. Now, FDA approval was supposed to be at the end of 2021. Unfortunately, that got pushed back a little bit, but Omnipod said they're pretty certain quarter one will have an FDA approval and we should see the device shortly after that. So hopefully sometime in the next few months, we'll be able to get our hands on the Omnipod 5. I know I'm personally very excited about it and I would probably consider getting started on it. So let me know what you think of the Omnipod 5. If you have any, any comments about it, anything that you're excited about, or maybe a different pump that's coming out in the near future that maybe you would prefer, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching the video.